Hello again, everybody. Wayback Sports Cards, and we're here with a special video for you. I'm opening up uh, two packs of fairly new Japanese baseball cards. I picked these up while I was in Japan a couple of weeks ago. Um, 2023 BBM Rookie Edition all the way on the left, and then 2022 Topps Chrome NPB on the right there. And then after I open these packs, I only have one of each. I'm going to share some information and, and some photos from a game I went to while I was in Japan. I got to see the Yokohama Bay Stars play the uh, Yomiuri Giants, the Tokyo Giants. So I'm uh, going to show that right after I uh, open these two packs. I'm going to start with the BBM Rookie Edition from 2023. I did open one pack already. They're essentially uh, rookie cards of players from NPB. I didn't see any familiar names in the pack that I opened. So we'll see what we got here. You can see they all have the rookie card symbol similar to Tops. Kosuke Noguchi, as I butcher these names, Ryura Taira Kota Sato. We've got a close relationship card of Masaya Hagio and Takuya Hiroma from the Lions. And we'll, is this an insert? Looks like it is an insert. So that's pretty cool. Check the package. Um, close relationship, looks like one every six packs maybe. Rui Mitsuka, Heisko Saito. I think that might be a duplicate. I don't know. Nope, different. Haruto Kasano and Haruto Yamada. All right, so there we go. I think that's everybody in the pack, so not too bad. Nice looking cards. And then we're going to open up the Topps Chrome from last year. Um, I'll show you one that I got from the last pack, which is a Yoshinobu Yamamoto from the Oryx Buffaloes, one of the top pitchers in all of Japanese baseball. He was on the WBC championship team this year in 2023. Top pitcher, hopefully he'll come to the States soon. This is like a one out of 24 insert card. So we got pretty lucky in our first pack. Open up this second pack of last season's NPD. I think it's four cards per pack. So we got Shuda Tonasaki from the Seibu Lions. We've got Junichiro Kishi from the Seibu Lions. We've got Roki Sasaki from the Chiba Lot Marines. This guy was one of the star pitchers from the MPB team. I think he uh, set some records as well. I don't have them offhand, but he is absolutely one of the top pitchers in all of Japanese baseball. That's a nice card to get. And then we got a blue to 150 of uh, Koyo Ayoagi, so from the Henshin Tigers. So I don't haven't heard of him. I'll have to look up Koyo, see what his uh, background is. But one out of 50 uh, serial number card, not bad. And a Roki Sasaki card as well. So really nice pack right there. So I'm going to Pause this video right here, and I'm going to come back in a moment and uh, talk to you a little bit about the baseball game I went to while I was in uh, in Tokyo. So I'll be right back in a moment. All right, everybody. So I'm back, and uh, so I wanted to share a little bit of information with you on that Roki Sasaki card I, I pulled a few minutes ago. Um, I did a Google Translate on the card. Uh, it doesn't translate exactly, but I figured out what it was, uh, the picture's from. It's from Perfect Game that Roki Sasaki threw in, in April of last year, of 2022. And um, I think it was the 16th Perfect Game in, in uh, NPB history. But in that game, he struck out 13 batters in a row, which is a, a world record. I think the MLB record for most consecutive strikeouts is 10 held by Corbin Burns, I think Tom Seaver, and, and somebody else. So um, broke the world record and struck out 19 in that game. So that's what all that um, means. It doesn't translate exactly. I'm sharing the, the card with you right now. Um, so that is a little bit of background on that card, which makes it even all the more cool. 
but wanted to share a little bit of information with you on the game I went to in Japan, and I'm going to share some pictures with you as well. Uh, before I do that, I'm just going to show you some of the stuff I got from the game uh, season schedule, which you can see uh, the front is in English. A lot of the um, other stuff is in uh, kanji in Japanese, but uh, the full season schedule, which is pretty cool, picked up one of those. Um, player songs, I was hoping to see songs in uh, in English. Didn't really get that. There's a little bit of a few English words in here, but it goes for each player, the songs that they've picked, which is kind of cool. I'll need to Google Translate that. And I thought this was really cool. B Baystar's Beginner's Guide, which again, covers in English, so you would think um, that the book would be or the pamphlet would be in English. Not so much. Um, so I'm going to have to Google Translate this as well. I'm going to show you some pictures from the game in a minute. I was sitting down here where my finger is near the number 25 down in that uh, left field corner for the game. Um, there's some of the food they offered at the game. I didn't quite get that. I, got a, I think I got a shrimp sandwich and some rolls, which I don't see pictured here, but I did get the Bay Stars Lager for... 800 yen, which was about uh, about six dollars, I think, a U.S. So, uh, but this is kind of cool. It just gives you a sampling of um, what they offered, how to enjoy foods. Uh, of course, they don't give it to you in um, in English, unfortunately, but still pretty cool. I plan on keeping this. And then um, you know you get to see the jersey. Um, and some of the merchandise I got the uh, bought the blue hat there for about I think about 30 US dollars and then um, I'm gonna start showing you some pictures from the game because uh, when I got to the game I was given a towel as a giveaway and I found out that that um, translated to Kaita Sano I think each towel is for a different player and I got Kaita Sano's um, towel and he's one of the star players for the Bay Stars so it was kind of cool to have that. Um, also, just really cool thing about the game was um, the fans do not boo at these games. They they cheer their team. Um, the Bay Stars had their fans in the right field corner um, that were chanting all game. They chanted for each batter as they came up. And then on the right, um, left field side close to where I was sitting was a small contingent of uh, Tokyo um, uh, Yomiuri Giant fans who were chanting their batters when they were coming up. It was all very positive, really kind of cool. Um, at the very end of this video, I'm gonna show you a clip of um, uh, in between innings, the Bay Stars have like a theme song, which is, um, I, I only know like two words, Yokohama DNA Bay Stars, and that's about it. But uh, really cool, it's definitely a little earworm, uh, gets stuck in your head. But I mean, a really cool experience, the stadium, not super new. I think it hold, held about 30,000 people as one deck, as you can see from the pictures. So there's no upper deck. There's no covering, but um, really nicely kept stadium. Um, just, you know, really kind of cool experience to see baseball and how it is enjoyed elsewhere. So uh, with that, I'm going to share the little video, the one minute clip video that I have. Uh, I've already, you've already seen some of the pictures and um but yeah i'd love to hear from you guys let me know what you think about this if you have any questions about uh, my experience at the game i'll be glad to try to answer them for you uh, but yeah until next time uh thank you all for watching and um enjoy the video and and, and have a great day everyone see you next time so long <laughs>